The minister argues that allegations of secrecy around Namibia's green hydrogen ambitions are unfounded and lack substantial evidence. His Excellency Dr. Alex for President of the Republic of Namibia, during the week of March 7 to the 9th, 2022, joined by the Green Hydrogen Council members, invited all leaders of all the opposition political parties to State House for an in-depth consultation on the Green Hydrogen Project. Several other engagements by the Green Hydrogen Council members and the communities of the Paras region took place in both the towns of Ludred and Kidman's Wolf, among which the council members and the Green Hydrogen, um, German Green Hydrogen Commissioner, Mr. Rainer Bakke, and his team jointly addressed the Ludred community in an address by the chair and the commissioner, followed by extensive questions and answers session. Kwebes says the allegations were driven by individuals with misguided political ambitions and warned against politicizing a national project of such critical nature. The allegations which I label as misleading and selfish to a misguided political ambition that the project is shrouded in secrecy given the above in-depth an elaborate consultation between the head of state and Green Hydrogen Council is unfounded and must be dismissed as a political cheap point scoring. Exercise fathom in their political philosophy of casting this caring government as failing the nation. It is not the time to play cheap politics for the sake of popularization in the face of the precarious economic outturn of recent. Emphasizing government's unwavering commitment to inclusivity and collaboration in the pursuit of the ambitious Green Hydrogen Project, the Minister of Home Affairs, Immigration, Safety and Security, Dr. Albert Kawana, also called on the public to refrain from politicizing the Green Hydrogen Project. My appeal to all Namibians, fellow citizens, is to say this project is a national project let us not politicize it. It is intended to benefit our people.